So recently, a new study has come out which has shown that 90% of our longevity is determined by our lifestyle choices. There are so many lifestyle choices out there. So I wanted to take a look at what is the best path to attaining the longest possible lifespan. And to do this, I wanted to examine the life of the one and only Wana Cut Squirrel. So we all know about the Wana Cut Squirrel. We've heard how she founded Middlebury College and was the first dean of commons here at Middlebury. We've also heard about how she built Battelle with her own two hands. But what is less commonly known about her is that she lived to be 100 years of age. Now, Wanakot Squirrel's longevity poses some interesting questions. And before we get into the ins and outs of how she lived to be 100, I want to do some myth busting um, on the topic of longevity. So, myth number one. If you live up for a long time, you live to be 100. Well, yes, this is a common misperception held by many squirrels and Middlebury students alike. But what we found is that there are many squirrels here on Middlebury campus that live a long time, but not to be 100. So, myth number two. If you are a squirrel at Middlebury College, you will live to age 100. Again, not so true. Wanakot Squirrel was an exception in the fact that she lived to be 100 years old. So, how exactly did Wanakot Squirrel live to be 100 years of age? Well, picture here some images that you might recognize. Here we have Prak Chak, a staple of all of our students' lives, and Granola, equally a staple. Now, these two things side by side, you might think, okay, yes, but together, this has been found to be correlated to longer lifespans than any other food. So, crock, chalk, and granola. Where am I getting this information, you may ask? Behold, granola mother. The granola mother is a prime example of the health benefits of mixing crock, chalk with granola. Granola mother is 300 years old and she has attained this by eating only crock chalk and granola every day throughout her 300 year life. So we wanted to see if this relationship was a causation or a correlation. So we dug a little deeper. What makes crock chalk different? Well, you may not know this, but the chocolate milk that they serve in Proctor Dining Hall this all comes from one batch made in the year 2000, which was a very special year because it was the millennium and all of the milk included gold that year. So, this can explain why Proc Chalk is so health promoting. 